everyone. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, tomorrow from 4 to 5.30, folks, Basil's going to be doing a webinar for his subscribers. And it's a free webinar. It's very easy to get into. You just subscribe to Basil's newsletter. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. And you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. So check it out. It's going to be a great webinar tomorrow, four to five thirty. We get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right now. Basil, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Interesting markets. No, no doubt. So what are we going to be talking about in the webinar, Basil? So let me go through this right now. Uh, what I'm looking at. Let me just go through this right here. So the first thing I'll do is say, where are we? Most daily charts have soared higher almost nonstop since the October 27th, 2023 low, coming somewhat overbought. That's just based on my unbalanced volume, just on a very short-term basis. Many stocks and ETFs are in rocket-like single leg A up. That's a really important aspect that I'm, I'm monitoring all the time. And some are at yearly or even all-time highs. Monthly charts and key indices are either at or close to all-time highs. The lagging, this is what it's all about. The lagging sectors and indices have had strong rallies, but remain way under their all-time highs. You were just talking about a firm. I mean, this is a very good example. Let me just go to the chart and show you something. Look, remember last week you asked me about the instant restart, and I said it can only happen with the fourth highest peak, peak D, where within two bars it makes a new high, and that can portend a brand new move to the upside that can go at least four higher peaks to another D. Well, that went exactly there. Went to a D a few days ago. Boom, today popped to a leg E. So that's the power of the move. But look at a firm. It was once in the 170s. It went down to the to the eights or the nines, somewhere around there. And so this is potentially, if we're looking out over a couple of months, we're looking at stocks like a firm or indexes, and I'll talk about that as well that have been really beaten down. And I'll talk about what we would be looking at to see whether or not they have the potential not to stall right now, but to actually continue higher. Because here's number five of this, where are we? Participation has broadened, and that's really important. And the next thing is, I'm gonna talk about the positives and negatives. I mean, I, I list all the positives, <laughs> the leadership, broadening of the sectors, dollar yields dropping, Weekly charts rallied huge, some of them to all-time highs. Semiconductors have been extremely strong. They're just stalling right now. That gives me a little hesitancy on the short term. The volatility index that is the yearly lows. Number six, huge buildup of cash and CDs. I mean, that's the whole area of bonds. If that money starts to go into the market, that's what we need to look at. Is there that potential coming into 2024, first uh, quarter of 2024? And the other is, there's no dark news cloud cover. You know, I always talk about something that really is sitting out there and then every once in a while it becomes important and the market either ignores it, but then suddenly it takes it seriously. I don't see any. I just see little clouds out there, but not, no dark cloud cover. Then on the con side, on the negative, you've got near term, the daily charts are becoming extended. The weekly charts are showing very overbought on balance volume, almost as much as the daily charts. The semiconductors are becoming overbought near term. And then the same thing on the left where I see the vo uh, VIX, the volatility index is at yearly lows. That is also a, an area that says, hey, wait a minute. If they're at yearly, yearly lows, they can rally. And that's the thing I'll be looking at. So the assumptions and expectations, huge sums have been expended in the infrastructure sectors, including the semiconductor industry, as the government subsidizes U.S. factory and encourages U.S. manufacturing. That's the first time we've seen that in decades. And bonds and CDs are, can give a strong boost to the markets if that massive cash hoard transfers reluctantly at first, but then goes to stocks. But near term, as I say, there's a little bit of topping action. I'm watching it closely, and I'm looking out for the smaller caps, just like you mentioned, a firm, uh, you know, Shopify. There are a lot of those stocks, ARKK is the, uh, Kathy Wood, it's her, 
fund that just got really smacked to the downside, now it's starting to perform better. I'm looking at what we can do there in those areas, as well as some sectors, and I talk about it here where I say it's important that the XLF, the financials, and the KOE, the regional banks, start to move very well. I like it when everything's in sync. The transportation's moving higher. The financials are moving higher. That really broadens and extends a market move to the upside. That's what we're going to monitor monitoring, as well as the broker, the IAI. We're still long from 45. It's done extremely well over the years. Uh, and uh, we're looking at AI artificial intelligence. We are actually long the AIQ. <clears throat> we'll see where it can go from here. Is this where I want subscribers to add to, or maybe I wait for a pullback? We're looking at gold and oil as it relates to the Middle East. It's going to be really important. Some of the oil shippers suddenly spiked higher. So we need to look at that as well as the XLE, the energy sector. There's the whole area of batteries, alternative fuels, software. Then there's the Russell 2000, which has acted much better, but it's still way underperforming. But the IWB, and I don't know if you realize this, you know that the 1000, the Russell 1000 is, we can look at this right here. This is the IWB. The IWB is trading almost at all time highs. Look at this. This is the IW. So this is the IWM. That's the IWM. Look, it's stuck in this range, trying to bounce into the 200s. But look at the IWB. Yeah, no, I can see look it. I this. just got. I just put it up. It's an, it's an ABC isn't up, it? man. Yeah, it's actually an ABC up. Yeah, yeah you know, it, it, Basil. It's, it seems like this is pretty wild, folks. But this seems to me like a 1998 market, man. <laughs> You know, it's earlier it, than 2000. I don't hear people just wherever I go talking about any anything like you know, before in 2000. Every even the barber shop had a TV with the no, ticker going for by. For sure, for sure. But you know, so, at, between 96, folks, 96, 97, 98, they were ABC up markets, and man, this is you know, we'll see where it shakes out. I know it sounds it insane because it seems like we're high, but <laughs> a period. Of, it was a period of recognition, and that's it, really important. And then after that, the public start to get involved. So we haven't even quite got there yet. I think the public is just kind of. That's what I'm talking about. The funds and sure. the CDs right. and bonds. Right. I mean, that hasn't even started really to move right. to the to the stocks. So I'm and, kind of looking out and saying this this has the potential and, for something. And folks, it's very easy to get in Basil's newsletter and the webinar tomorrow. Come over to our website at TFNN, right into featured content. You hit that button. You're going to get a great newsletter for a month. You get a great workshop. Basil has about another 10 workshops on that you can get. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, you can cancel in 28, 29 days, and you get it all anyway. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. You, you might think.